<sighs> Good morning. Today is Thursday, the 13th of December, 2018. And if you think I'm exacerbated and tired, it's because I am. It's been a very long week. It's been a very long three days. I'm not upset. I'm not feeling sad or anything like that. Um, I am, however, feeling challenged. And uh, where's the challenge coming from? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a personal thing. It's, it's like, um, this is where I knew, this is, I, kn I knew that this year was going to be a challenging year. And here's just one of the many challenges that I was expecting. And it's the over overwhelming sense of not winning any battles, I guess. I don't know how to put it. Like, like I, I just get this sense that I am not winning anything. <laughs> like, literally, for me, everything seems to be just... Um, a t like, maybe it's a, a few peppered small victories there but no major big wins um and you know that that bugs me um it's just man what is what is going on with my life it's just uh it's just like th one thing comes up or an, and another and it's just like it, it feels like not I, I can't win anything <laughs> it's just it's frustrating because like like you know, I, I I'm I feel like I'm a pretty successful teacher. I feel like I can have really good relationships with my students, and you know I know like my students actually you know see me as a trusted teacher and everything, and that's great. Um, at the same time, I know that um, my you know my bosses do see me as a reliable teacher and a you know a skilled teacher at that. So you know. I mean, I'm not house lead for a reason, right? I became house lead because they recognized my abilities. Um, with that being said, you know, everything has a double-edged sword. Like, um, with the amount of respect that I, you know, I have to, I have, that I hold for my students. Um, wait, wait, let me say that again. With the amount of respect the students have for me, that means I have a lot of responsibilities, right? And, you know, occasionally those responsibilities would slip up. And, you know, um, the the respect is a very volatile thing, you know, it's just, especially at this age. And, you know, small mistakes or even things that you are, that you would see as innocuous are huge to them. So things that you don't see as mistakes and are actually inherently not mistakes become major issues that will pop up in the class. And, you know... When they pop up, I handle it, and that's the thing, you know, I, I've i trained myself, and I know what kind of guy I am, I can, you know, I can diffuse things really well, but once again, I still carry the, like, you know, the I still carry it, like, you know, and it's just been building up, and it's not just from, you know, when I first started teaching, even before, when I was in teacher school, they would say, it's never really the students that'll get you upset, it'll always mainly be the adults, and, you know, this, yeah, this is, that's the thing. It was just a normal thing. It's part of it. It was fixed, right? But here's the thing. I had to be the one that fixed it. So, um, on the other hand, like, when it comes to the adults, while they are very, you know, while we are very, you know, we like each other, we seem to work well pretty well, um, I really do feel like I'm not, like, getting the support that I would want, but they're giving me what they want to give, um, and I, I I know this is this is probably way over the heads of like the kids that watch this thing, but it's like I'm trying to figure out how my curriculum, my new curriculum works, and I'm really making an honest effort, but at the same time, I don't really want to be told what to do. Like I need to figure it out myself because. Hey, you know, I'm the one teaching at Helms, you know, like a lot of the, some of these admins have been teaching thought here, but then not with this new curriculum and all this stuff. And like, I know they're excellent teachers, like, you know, they're now admin for a reason, right? And it's just, it, it, it's just like, you know, I just want to be left alone. I just want to like, let me do my job and let me just do my thing. 
and let me just learn how to do this thing. I don't need to be told this and that, this and that. I don't need to read, be given articles and stuff like that. I need to, I, like, I got the research down. I got to figure it out. Let me just put it all together. It's just, it's just like, I don't want to, like, you know, I, I, it's just like, because, like, you know, this week, I'm just trying to do something. I made a plan four weeks ago just to get through and to, at the same time to learn the, the content. And then, like, it felt like, like, um, I was apparently, some, I'm apparently in a coaching cycle for the sixth year in a row, and I'm like, um, okay, so you should do this, and you should do this, and you should do this. Like, I don't want, okay, I get it, but, and then I was also told, like, I was also told, like, don't wait. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, what, what do you mean, don't wait? And then, like, all of a sudden, it was just like, don't wait. This is like, well, you know, honestly, I really don't want to be coached right now. I just want to be, I just want to do my thing. Like, like, let me teach. Let me figure it out. That's all it is. Like, I can do this. I don't need to be told. And it's just like, there's already a ton of stuff that we're expected to do. And then to be told that, oh, what you're doing isn't exactly right. Do it, do it my way. And I'm like, please, like, you know, you're not the one teaching middle school right now, right? It's just like I don't know. Uh, it, you know that's that's the thing. You know, I felt like those are not really s like big victories for me, right? It it really what really does the the morale is like really getting down, like all these like and I'm gonna keep going on back to these meetings. These meetings like I'm. I'm not having a chance to talk to the people I need to talk to, particularly the other English teachers, because things like planning days get canceled and all these things. And at the end of the day, we're just saying, oh, just time card at the end of the school day. And I'm like, Are, is that really realistic? I can't get the three of us all together. Everyone's going to go somewhere or going to be at a meeting. Like, we're being told to do this thing, but then like all that time is already taken up by another thing. I'm, I'm stumped. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and then like I'm being expected to like figure all this stuff out and then I'm being told what to do and I'm like, um, yeah, do you want, like, and, and, and I'm being ironically told to take care of myself and to like go while we're at home. So people are just telling me like literally all these different things at once and I'm like, why should I like seriously like. Is that even realistic? Like, I, am I really expected to do all that and not stress out because apparently I'm needed? Eh, whatever. This is definitely like a rant video. <laughs> this is definitely a rant video. Like, it's frustra I'm frustrated. Like, I am very frustrated. And it's not because of my kids, you know? It's, it doesn't matter what kind of attitudes these kids give me because it's just, it's middle, it's like, it's middle school, right? And that's the thing. It's just like, it's one thing when a kid, like, does these things it's like there's a, like basis to understand it but then when when like literally like it just seems like an ostensible amount of things like it it's like as if like the stuff that we're doing almost comes off like it's like some kind of comedy i don't know I, that, and this is pretty much i'm pretty sure i'm like just talking like i'm blowing smoke now at this point it's just like sheesh louise please Anyway, it felt good. It felt good. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta get ready for class. I think the kids will be coming in about five minutes. Alright, bye.